In today's video, we take a look at the Remarkable 2, a super slim writing tablet using e-ink that feels like you're just writing on paper. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ed from Rush Faster and we do guides and walkthroughs bringing you better gear, better ways to carry and better accessories. So if you like what you see and you're interested in this sort of thing, please consider subscribing. Let's dive right in and check out the Remarkable 2 writing tablet. Now, when it comes to note taking, for some, nothing beats taking notes by hand. There's something special about the cognitive engagement of summarizing, paraphrasing, and organizing information through handwritten notes. However, we do live in a digital age where daily functioning does require digital communication. We pass a lot of our information through digital channels. And so the Remarkable 2 writing tablet seeks to blend these two worlds together by helping you focus on the task of note taking while also making it a super pleasant experience and a near perfect replication of writing on paper. Okay, so let's quickly talk about some of the specs of the Remarkable 2. It weighs approximately 400 grams. It uses a 1.2 gigahertz dual core ARM processor and it has one gig of DDR3 RAM and eight gigs of internal storage. Now, in terms of the screen itself, it's a second generation canvas display. So that's a 10.3 inch monochrome digital paper display. It's got a 1872 by 1404 resolution, so that's 226 DPI, and it is partially powered by that e-ink Carter technology. In terms of connectivity, it does use Wi-Fi, so you can have 2.4G as well as 5G. It has a USB-C accessory port for charging. It is a rechargeable lithium battery, and that's about 3000 milliamps. Now it has an incredibly strong battery life, an e-reader using e-ink like this. It has about two weeks of battery power. In terms of the marker that you'll get with the Remarkable 2, you can actually opt for the marker or marker plus, we'll get into that later on, but they don't need any charging, any setup or pairing. In terms of the actual profile itself, it is really thin. It's not paper thin, obviously. It's 4.7 millimeters thick, so that is incredibly thin. And you can see, hopefully you can see, there are just these really small, rubber stoppers there so that does give you a little bit of elevation a little bit of grip when you're setting it down now hopefully you can see just on that corner that is the activation button for on and off as well as sleeping and then just on the side here we have the accessory port that allows you to attach it to the book folio and then at the base of the tablet, we've got that USB-C charging port. Now, in terms of using it for note taking, we'll quickly demonstrate some of the features as well as that tactile paper-like experience. Now, on the edge of the tablet here, we have a number of things that we can interact with, whether it's to actually do note taking or to interface with the actual tablet itself. So on the side here, highlighter, we have the instrument that we're using for the stylus. So you have the option of a ballpoint pen, fine liner, marker, pencil, mechanical pencil, paintbrush, highlighter, or calligraphy pen. So if we select ballpoint pen and go to the next page, it just give you a sense of those different options. That's pencil. Let's go fine liner. Marker. Mechanical pencil. You can see just the difference between pencil and mechanical pencil, there's a different consistency there. And with paintbrush as well, you can see the different areas where pressure is placed to actually get that sense of using a paintbrush. Now, any of the markers that you get with Remarker will have tilt detection and 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. So that's how you're able to get this really tactile and simulated as well as accurate note-taking experience. Now, with each of those different instruments, you actually have different thicknesses as well as different monochromatic colors that you can use with those instruments. So say, for instance, with a marker, I might wanna go really thin marker and we'll see how different that looks to the original marker. So just a slight sense of difference there. You're able to cater to different types of hierarchies that you want to use when you're taking notes. That's really useful. Of course, we've got a little rubber tool here with the marker plus. The rubber tool is actually also accessible just at the end there. So you can actually rub out your notes or any sketches, drawings with that rubber on the end there. Here, we've also got a select and move tool. So we could actually select this entire chunk of text 
and then scale it or move it around. Um, you also have that flexibility there, just depending on how you're taking your notes. Perhaps you want to sketch a little diagram, write some notes on it, and you want to shift those elements around your note taking, you can do that. We also have the little undo and redo, so again, if you make a mistake, you can actually undo that. That goes for every separate interaction with the surface of the screen. So if you have one full uninterrupted interaction with the surface, that undo will completely remove it. At the bottom here, we have a few things that we can interact with the pages or the book or templates. So this one allows us to select the different pages of this booklet that we're working with. So that's our first page this is the second page that we're just working with. The second one here deals with layers and templates. So you can actually select a number of different templates um, for different types of note taking or just scribbling, planning, writing lists, anything like that. And then the third one deals with more digital communication. So here we have the option to present with screen share. So if you wanted to scribble and whiteboard using your Remarkable 2 via a conference call where you can share a window or a screen, you can actually do that with the Remarkable app on a computer or laptop. You can also send these documents, these notes via email. And for some of you who take notes and want to share them around, this might be really helpful. You're able to select your handwritten notes and convert them to text and send. And the last one there just deals with the booklet itself. So the settings of the notebook, you can switch it to landscape view if you want to, you can add new pages, anything like that. Now the nature of most e-ink digital devices, there is a slight latency to get used to when you're selecting certain buttons or tools. There is sometimes a slight latency to when you're selecting those buttons or tools. Even when you're flicking between pages, there is a little bit of a latency there. That's something to take note of, especially if you're concerned about that sort of thing. Now when you're looking at your files, it's a very simple layout. You can organize folders, different notebooks. Additionally, you can also use this writing tablet to look at ebooks and PDFs for either note taking purposes or if you just want to read a book. Now for whatever reasons you can use the writing instruments through your ebooks so if you want to highlight something you could do that as well. But a really neat thing is you can actually choose the highlighted color when you export the document back to either sending it to your devices or anything like that. So you can choose yellow, green, pink. Now while you might not see the actual color of the highlighter when you export the document to send it out to someone else. It will come in your selected color. Now, in terms of integrations, you actually can connect this to Google Drive as well as OneDrive and Dropbox. So there's plenty of different ways for you to integrate files with the Remarkable 2 tablet. Apart from that, there aren't any other additional connections to social media or any other third party programs or platforms. While there might be other digital tablets out there that perform the same note taking abilities, the Remarkable 2 doesn't come with any third party apps or any other downloadable apps that you can use that might be a distraction to your note taking. So it's a really dialed in focused tool to help you take notes or to read without any of those distractions that tend to come in our digital age. So there aren't any notifications, no social media, no email, just you and your thoughts to write down and take notes. Now, when it comes to taking note itself, again, this screen is very much a paper-like surface and there is a fast and precise pen stroke movement. So there is very minimal pen to ink distance latency when it comes to taking your notes on this surface. So if I just write some notes down right now for you to see. So when it comes to the tips movement on the surface, there isn't much of delay, no corrections really, nothing that hinders you from taking notes in a subconscious manner. So this is very just simple and normal to how you would take notes normally. Note taking is very simple. So that's a remarkable too at a glance with some quick specs, details and features but we're gonna take a look at some of the additional accessories that you can get with the Remarkable 2. So with the Remarkable, you do get the base marker, which is exactly the same as the Marker Plus, just without that rubber eraser and only comes in the white colorway. The Marker Plus is a little bit more weighted. It does have that rubber at the top there and comes in black. One thing to note about each of the markers that you do get, you will have some additional tips that you can use to replace the marker with. So over time, those tips will wear out and then you can replace the tips with these spare ones. So that comes with it. 
Now, while the Remarkable 2 is incredibly slim, with that needs to come some protection. So here we have two folios here that you can use to carry, transport and protect your tablet. Here we have the folio, which is a simple polyester weave sleeve. So if we just grab the Remarkable, we can slip that in there. And then there's also a little slip here for you to stash the marker. The internal lining is a microfiber lining, so it will protect the marker when you're carrying it. Over here, we have the book folio, which is a premium leather black book folio. You can see here we have four divots here to fit in with those four rubber feet. And then it magnetically connects to this little dock here. You can fold that up, hold it around like a folio. So that's nice and protected. Again, microfiber lining there, and the marker can simply just attach to the side. Both options still very slim and will protect your tablet from any scratches, anything like that, just to prolong the life of the tablet. All of these accessories add to that low profile aesthetic that really fits into the professional working environment and just a really nice sleek and clean design overall. Well, everyone, there you have it, the Remarkable 2 writing tablet. It is a digital tool, but it's still very much analog, helping you focus in on the task of note taking. And it also has that super awesome paper line experience. If you're interested in getting this tablet or anything else that you've seen in this video, there are links in the description below. If you use those links, they go a long way to support the work that we do here on the channel. So I really appreciate that. And if you want to support us further, you can hit the like button, hit the bell, subscribe to our channel, and also subscribe to our newsletter. But most of all, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this tablet? Would you use it? Has it compared to other note-taking tools? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you want to see more videos from us, check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now, this has been the Remarkable 2 Writing Tablet. Take care, until next time.